on Woodman Web Training, we're going to discuss scheduling in a little bit more detail so everyone understands the enumerations and how the different schedules work. So I've logged into our system here already and I'm going to go to our schedules, schedules block. What you're seeing here graphically is a representation of the three schedules we have built in for this system. Now most systems we build, we build in with the default 24-7 schedule, occupied all the time. There's almost, almost always some piece of equipment that needs to run all the time. And then Schedule 1 and Schedule 2, which lets us break it up into a couple of zones. This can be easily, if you have a system that needs a lot more scheduling or a lot more fine control per zone, uh, that can be added into the hundreds of schedules if you want to. It just becomes a little bit more difficult to manage. But that's not what we're going to get into today. Today we want to just discuss the different types of schedules. So I'm going to go to the wire sheet here real quick. And on the wire sheet, you're going to see the three types of schedules. Uh, the 24-7, Schedule 1, and Schedule 2 are all what are called enumerated schedules. And in an enumerated schedule, it means it has multiple ways that it can be configured. So in this case, an enumerated schedule has facets set up for occupied equals the number 1. And let me explain, an enumeration is simply a number, maybe 1 through 100, or 1 through 4 in this case, that has a text value or some sort of information associated with each number. So the program doesn't read occupied. What the program reads is number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4. We just represented it as occupied, unoccupied, bypass, and standby. So let me explain what each one of those does. Occupied, normal operation, ventilation is enabled, maintaining occupied set points. Unoccupied, exactly what you would think. No one's there. Maintains unoccupied set points. Bypass would be a mode where someone has pushed an override button in a room or possibly you could even have set up with occupancy sensors. And then standby mode is a mode where there's no ventilation but we're maintaining close to occupied set points in the event that someone has walked out of a room just temporarily and we go back to occupied when the occupancy sensor picks them up. So going back to our wire sheet if I want to add a new schedule, so let's say we're going to do a sprinkler system and we want to run that on what's called a Boolean schedule. And we've discussed this before, Boolean is on off. So I'm just going to click and drag a Boolean schedule in here. And again, if, if you don't know how to get to palettes, you can do this in your web interface as well. Click right here on this uh, the palette bar and then you want to pick palette and when you pick pallet you'll hit open and you'll look for schedule and when you open schedule this is what will be defaulted in there so we're going to pick a boolean schedule double click it you always want to go to the properties page first and let's say we want to have this not say true and false we want it to say on and off so i'm just going to come in here and change the name to say on and off now you could make that say all types of things if you wanted it to be um, yes no occupied unoccupied uh, the, the the scenarios are truly limitless all this is doing is just putting whatever text base or whatever number base you have here and assigning a time to it so we're gonna save it to on off now back on my weekly schedule you can see everything is defaulted to off and it's as easy as just clicking and dragging for whatever you want your schedule to be on so in this case it's 630 to 430 Special events is a little bit different because we can select particular days, times, days of the year. So in this case, we're going to just pick uh, Sprinkler. And we're going to have this work on a custom schedule. And we want to work on any day. So we're going we're gonna to sprinkle our system any day. But we only want it to work in June, July, and August. And I'm doing that simply with holding down the control key. And I only want it to do it on Mondays and Thursdays any week in any year. So now in June, July, and August, on Mondays and Thursdays, we're going to use our sprinklers. So we're going to hit OK. So now we've created that custom schedule. Now we need to create what time we want it to work. So in this case, I want it to work at 6 a.m. And my default output for all the rest of this is already set to off. So now we have a special event that we don't have to schedule ever again in the summer. Our sprinklers are going to come on at 6 o'clock in the morning until 9 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, on Mondays and Thursdays, um, only for those three months out of the year. So that's how you would add a schedule.
And if we have a point to tie that to, we're going to use this as an example. If we had a point wired up to a controller, uh, we would just want to direct at that controller and that point in the controller. And we're going to consider this to be an on-off point. We would just select the out value, which is the value this, this is currently trying to run. And right there, we've created a Boolean schedule tied to our sprinkler. And if that was a physical point on a controller, it would turn on and off on that schedule. That's how you would add a schedule uh, to a sprinkler. Now, one more thing that we want to touch on really quickly. If you have a room that you need to run on a much different schedule than everything else, you can see in all of, in all of, the, uh, all of the zones, we have them set up to where they tie back to those main schedules for the whole building. If you have one that needs to run much different than all the others, you can create an enumerated schedule, but the trick and the, the way to make Tritium fast and the way to make Woodman control systems fast is simply copy and paste. These are all already configured. They've already been used. We've already already set them all up with all the right information in them. So in this case, all you would do is delete that point and you'd take your out and select here or it would be on the 10 if you were to delete that. And now Schedule 1, there's an individual Schedule 1 built right into this existing furnace. And we would delete the, we would delete this enumerated Schedule selector, which is telling it to use the Schedule 1 that was previously made for the whole building. And with all these types of things, if you have any questions, please contact Woodman Controls.